beautiful and it is rich in vitamin E so Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hello, welcome to Unspoken Words, where we're all about making the natural hair community an actual community and helping you to love yourself. So today we're going to be doing another challenge. So if you haven't already watched my previous uh, video, which is basically where I go through, I go for a month and I do the rice water um, on my hair for a month and I, I just I kind of discussed the whole detail so I believe I'll put that in the link there and then also in the um, description box down below um, so if you haven't already watched that I'll put it up there for you guys to watch but today or for this video we are going to be doing palm oil just kind of seeing how it's going to look on my hair I completely forgot to wear the top I'm supposed to be wearing in order to make to show the the length the difference but the length actually no that's okay because the length um, of my hair is the same as the end of um, that other video so I'll just use that and just pop it in here so that, that kind of helps me um, a little bit as well so basically it's the same one because I I recorded that um, the second length check um, at, on the same day so I recorded it today as well as, as I'm recording this particular video um, so I'm gonna quickly get the palm oil I'm gonna use so I can show you guys what it looks like bear with me so the one I'm gonna be using for this particular challenge this is the one I'm going to be using no added colorings or preservative and it's rich in vitamin E it's an old bottle but you know what's inside is what's more important so, I mean it's a very used bottle um, but the ingredients is all it says it's palm oil can you read can you say that well, it says red palm oil and it is rich in vitamin E so I have another one but that one has salt um, as the second ingredient so it's palm oil and salt so I thought let me not use that one and just stick with this one um, put it in this container so I can easily access it because obviously the it's not gonna be and plus we use this for for cooking so I'm not gonna be doing the whole putting it in and putting it in yeah no just transfer it into a, into a different container and keep it sanitary and clean you know so yeah that's what I'm gonna be using um it's gonna be very interesting so after I just finished recording my second length check for the rice water I went to go and wash my hair um I pre-pooed and deep conditioned with the same kind of um I left upstairs and I'm gonna go back upstairs but anyway with the same just a concoction <laughs> with the same mixture that I um that I mixed it with it was conditioner oil, fenugreek, okra, and avocado I think it was, so that's what I used to deep condition and pre-poo. Um, and when I say pre-poo, I basically just used it to take down my each my, my twist, um, applied a little bit more, twisted it up so I so that it could be in four sections and then once I've done I was done with that and then I went on to washing my hair as normal so I didn't leave it on for quite a, for a long time I didn't do the whole um, greenhouse method um, or bagging method because I knew I was gonna deep condition with it anyway so I didn't think I didn't see the need to do so but yes so under here is basically my hair so what I what I've decided to do for this um, particular one is that because it stains like it stains <laughs> you know what I don't even know how I'm gonna do it but we're gonna see um, so what I've decided to do is water and then the oil and nothing else for this um, and then leave it in flat twists and uh, flat twist my hair down back so yeah instead of me showing you guys because I need to be able to see it in a mirror and not in the viewfinder where it's flipped the other way so my left is my right here and my right is my left but yeah anyway so I've said I'm just I'll just go um in front of the mirror and do that but I'm just gonna quickly let, let you guys know what I'm gonna do. Um, so I have some leftover um, okra and fenugreek in here. Um, I mix it with something else. Um, that's why it's this color. But I have some leftover fenugreek and okra, which I'm gonna use um, as well. And then it's just plain water in this one. And so if I, I need to dilute this a bit more, or so that it lasts for the whole for my whole hair, then I'll just add some more water. And um, 
yes so what i'm going to do is when i'm going to bed i'm going to bag my hair before i put a scarf or um a satin bonnet type um head wrap thing <laughs> on my hair so that that when i'm sleeping it's not staining everywhere and on my face and all of that stuff um and also um, I think it was discovering discovering natural that I got this tip from when you want to wash your hair out and um, wash this stuff out of your hair is to have um, a, an, a cleaning agent that has bleach inside of it so that that you can spray once you finish washing your hair you can spray the bathtub or the sink or whatever you use um, and then rinse it and so that you're you know you're not staining especially when your bathtub is white which I know the I mean I'm presuming the majority of people have white bathtubs and sinks. Um, I know I do, so um, so just to make ensure that it's not, you know, leaving that orange stain like it does. So that's what I will be doing for that. Um, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be washing my hair as much um, this time around for this one because obviously to wash it, it takes a lot. <laughs> it takes a lot to wash it, and. Um, To be quite honest, I think because one of the shampoos I have is quite a stripping shampoo, so I think I should be able to do it and it should be fine. To show you the palm oil I was talking about previously was this one that I was thinking of using, um, but when I looked at the ingredients, it was, if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, so the ingredients was palm pulp and salt. Um, so I, don't, I wasn't ready to put that on my hair so I decided to use the other one that I showed you uh, but yeah so in terms of the smell the smell just obviously because it's oil it just smells like cooking oil um, but like it's not like the cooking oil when you fry something like vegetable or sunflower oil it's not that kind of smell but it's just it's like I don't know how to explain it if you guys ever smell palm oil you know what I'm talking about the way that it smells in the bottle is the way that it's going to smell on your hair but it's not strong so strong that people will be able to notice it but you yourself will notice it i definitely notice it you know with the whole covid thing we're not really touching each other like that for anybody to notice um it on my hair so that's that and then also well this is the style that i did and um, decided to do for the palm oil um and this was is what i was going to leave on my hair throughout the whole month but I don't like the fact that I can't get it to my scalp as easily um, as I would do if I was using mini twists. So I decided that I'm going to change it to mini twists. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just going to see the outcome. So the point is, I decided not to do this one because, wait, this one, this particular flat twist, for some reason, didn't really go as well as the other ones did. Um, but I did it. In the night time so that could possibly be the reason why that happened um, but yeah that's that's kind of it but no I like it I really like the style I just don't like the fact that I can't properly access my scalp because I would like to be able to put the palm oil um, on my scalp as well as the strands of my hair um, and then the other thing I want to talk about was what I do um, in terms of when I sleep so this is a small bin bag. I have a roll of, um, you know, bin bags for the ones that you put in, in bathrooms. Those are really small um, paddle, foot paddle bins. So I have, so I have a roll of that that I don't use, because yeah, I don't use them. So what I use them for is for my hair to bag my hair overnight. Um, as you can see, this one <laughs> I have used. Um, I think every every two nights I throw it away. Just because I don't want to do the whole adding more oil on my hair. I don't know how to explain it, but I just don't want that whole used bag on my hair after about two to three nights. So I usually do change up. I mean, you can use the same one, but throughout the month, I don't know if throughout the month you still use the same one. I would advise to change up. Um, I know plastic wasting, you know, using a lot of not even wasting, using a lot of plastic. But no, actually, it doesn't even matter because the bin bag that I, that I use is biodegradable. So yeah, if you want to get a biodegradable one, 
by all means go ahead but I have a biodegradable one this is the biodegradable one um, so it's fine that's what it said on the package anyway um, that's biodegradable so what I do is I will put um, my hair I'll do it backwards because usually people tie the not at the, at the front but I do it at the back um, and then I'll put I don't even have it with me but then I'll put my um, tie on satin bonnet um, and tie that on from the front so that it kind of gives me ex extra security and I can just go to sleep and usually it stays I don't think I've ever had a time even with this slick hairstyle because usually when I have slick hairstyle that's when I find out that my body will, or my scarf will come off when I wake up in the morning but when um, I do it the way that I do it with the bag and then with my satin bonnet it doesn't come off um, I don't do it tight to the point where it's hurting I do it so that it's secure and um, on my hair it's still I think it still has a bit of movement but I think it's just, that's just be the because of the um, type of bonnet that I have um, but this this doesn't move but yeah just do it enough so that it's secure but it's not hurting you and um, affecting your edges um, because of the way that you turn it on your hair so that's what I do um, what I, I so the first because it's been three days now for the first two nights I did the bag method the last the previous night so just the one just gone for me um, last night uh, I did not put the bag on I kind of braved it and just put my satin bonnet on because it wasn't like to the touch you you, can, you can't see it doesn't come off on my fingers so I was like okay it seems to have absorbed enough to where I don't need that extra protection so I just slept with my satin bonnet I went to bed like that and it was fine it was it was fine it, I didn't have any problems um, with that but then again I don't have white pillowcases so I don't know if it transferred but it, it did not look like um, oil had transferred onto my pillowcases so yeah and my skin wasn't complaining either this is what I mean by when it stains I don't know if you guys can is it there you, okay it's not you can't really it's not even on this side it's on the other side <laughs> right. so can you guys see see that that marking you can't really see on here but it's it's not really prominent it's 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 there but it's not like bright in a lot so that's what I kind of mean that when you need to be careful with um, the palm oil um yes so what I what I did say that I was doing was kind of bagging my hair for the night and going to bed but I don't do it every day now I did watch a video that says um, not to bag your hair every single day every week type thing and um, that you're only supposed to do about two to three times a week just because your hair needs to breathe and all of that um so I don't I don't do it every 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 day what I do um do sometimes is I would put a scarf on then I put like a like a um t-shirt or a top that I don't really care much for um, and then I'll just allow that that shirt to kind of soak up whenever the scarf isn't holding in so that's another method that I do use um, when I don't do the bagging method but the bagging method, method can be a bit I don't know interesting um, yes I use an actual bag rather than a shower cap because a shower cap doesn't stick to my head as as um, much as I would like it to and that air that's always swishing every time I'm turning around yeah I don't like that feeling I just want to show you guys what I do in terms of the palm oil I have a cloth here to help me to clean my hands because if I've not said before I'm saying it oh this is wow so the hot water has deformed my plastic spray bottle I thought the plastic was a bit more enduring but apparently not Anyway, just to show you guys what I do when it comes to actually doing this palm oil and how I apply it onto my hair. So I'm just going to remove, like I said, I wanted a hairstyle that is simple and out of my hair, my face and my clothing. Um, yeah, so that's why I did mini twist and then I twisted, I then flat twisted the mini twist into um, two sections, one bigger than the other. Um, and that's how I did it. Um, the way that I was doing the this the partings is to ensure that the bigger side is 
you know kind of comes up to, comes off into the into the other side if that makes sense like it's going here so it's not straight down into the, into the middle because I do a lot of middle partings and um, it irritates my scalp when I'm doing a parting for too long so that's why I, I kind of switched off a bit up, up a bit and did an off center parting with a little bit of a flick or flick <laughs> but yes that is that um, I will be putting this back in the twist later I think one thing I've noticed in the, I think I've been doing this for four days now, I started on Friday, it is Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four, Tuesday, yeah, so for four days now, and my hair is soft, like, if you guys, um, you know, struggle with dry hair, I think this is something to definitely consider, because it definitely does do what it's like my hair is because obviously all i did was water and the um pump oil and my hair is just so soft and so bouncy um i love it i honestly truly love how my hair feels with this pump oil okay um yes so my hair has definitely been growing i mean i feel like i say this all the time <laughs> but this is actually a look though you know i could definitely rock this like it's They've done a whole little mini twist out kind of style. Let me just. Hmm. What do you think? Would it be a nice look to rock? I like this top. I like. I would like to continue to wear it out. So I'm going to cover it up because, like I said, palm oil stains. Um, with my handy dandy everything house top <laughs> that I love to wear i love oversized jumpers guys like i love oversized jumpers anyways apart from besides that oh guys do you see i don't know if you guys can see it but can you see that little bump here yeah that that is caused by the straw when i put it into the hot water <sighs> thinking that it was going to be fine and i love this spray bottle i bought those big ones that like i see a lot of people use on youtube Guys, I feel like an actual YouTuber. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Palm oil is beautiful, but it stains like anything. <laughs> okay, all right. So once I've done that and bubbles not big enough, I'm going to have to properly. Okay, because I don't know why it's wrinkling up like that. Yeah. I've added it in. Can you see it's still in the bottle? already so yeah i'm going to do it on my scalp first and then i'm going to oh, i don't know guys i'm really loving this hair <laughs> i'm loving the way that it's just twisted very nicely i'm loving the 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 buoyancy of it um but yeah so how do i do this because i don't want to strip it on me by the way palm oil is good for the skin if you guys ever wanted to know it's good for the skin that's what people have said anyway like i said i don't want to drip on me um it doesn't help that it's very liquidy man when it's I want to ensure that So I just had um, an interview for the for what I'm doing. Um, you guys, I cannot wait to let you guys know and start promoting it because it's going to be so. Oh, I can't wait. So I don't know if, I, if I've told you how I kind of get <laughs> or how I um, avoid staining my clothes when um, I'm getting ready with this in my hair, with the palm oil in my hair, and what I do is. I put a scarf over my hair because obviously during the night I put the plastic bag so it absorbs the majority of the of the um, oil into my scalp into my hair strands and then when I wake up when I am getting ready I put a scarf of, um, over my my hair I, once it's you know packed up I put a scarf over my hair and because it doesn't there's, there's not a lot of transferring of oil when I put my hair in my um or put my hand in my in my scalp so i'm fine with that but if you still find that there's still quite a bit of um oil on your hair and more than you're comfortable with then just plastic leave the plastic bag on and the scarf on and then put your you know your clothes on 
um, and you should be fine but I haven't had to worry about staining much um, apart from my house clothes because I used to leave my hair down um, in that puff like that um, instead of up I want to leave it more up here so that it's out of my face and my that thing but sometimes I leave it you know in the low bun and that does you know still rub on and it still has that faint um, orange tinge tint to my house clothes um, when I do apply it when I do do it that way should I say the next thing is I'm just gonna spray all around my hair <laughs> That's how much I plan to put on my hair because I still, like I said, there's still quite a bit on my hair as is. You see, you see that? You see, you, you see that color difference? You, you, you see that color difference? Did, did you see? <laughs> okay, so I would do it in sections. I'm not really that fussed about it, and I'll just leave my hair in the the style that you saw me before when I was taking it down. i um, at the beginning that I'm just gonna leave it in there for a good week or so it's so light you know when someone's tickling you or um you know feathers touching you that's how my hair feels my hair generally feels like cotton wool or fed feathers it's that you know soft and airy 